maganda ang resulta ng pag-aaral sa Virgin Coconut Oil o VCO bilang panlaban sa COVID-19 matapos ang ilang buwang pagsusuri sa laboratorio natuklasang kayang puksain ng VCO ang novel coronavirus. Pero magiging mabisa rin kaya ito oras na subukan sa COVID-19 patients sa ospital. Ano pa ba ang mga kailangan malaman sa posibleng paggamit ng VCO kontra sa COVID-19? Makakausap natin ngayon si Dr. Jaime Montoya, Executive Director ng Philippine Council for Health Research and Development ng DOST. Magandang gabi po sa inyo, Dr. Montoya. Yes, magandang gabi uh, sa inyong lahat. Yeah, so Dr. Montoya, let's begin with this po. Yung VCO, hindi pa po natin pwedeng sabihin na cure siya o pwede niyang gamutin ang uh, COVID-19. Pero for, uh, for now, siya po ba, siya daw ay isang adjuvant lang. Yes. Uh, sa ngayon, uh, we just have laboratory data na pinakikita na pinapatay niya yung virus by as much as 60 to 80 percent. But ito ay nangyayari lang at low concentrations ng virus. So sa laboratorio to, we have to see it whether ito ay naduduplicate sa actual patients. Kaya kailangan po ang clinical data kasama nito. Kaya hindi pa tayo pwede mag-conclude ng ganun dahil kailangan nating makita pa ang resulta ng mga ongoing clinical trials po. Okay. So, Dr. Montoya, when can that happen? When can we use VCO on uh, patients with COVID-19 in hospitals? Well, alam po, dalawang studies po yan na nangyayari ngayon. One is actually what we call community-based. It's being done in Laguna, looking at probable and mildly Laguna. symptomatic uh, patients. At yung isang grupo naman po ay ginagawa in hospital setting in PGH to look at the hospitalized patients or moderate cases of uh, COVID-19. So ito pong sa community-based sa Laguna, ang target uh, end ng study is end of December um, this year. So depende po yan, pwede mapaagayan kung ang uh, needed uh, sample size o mga patients ay ma-enroll ka agad. But ang target po is around end of December of this year. Yun naman po sa PGH, eh kasi simula pa lang. So that will actually extend up to first quarter of next year. Kasi kasi simula lang po yun sa PGH. Okay. So at this point, Dr. Montoya, we cannot say wala pang uh, preliminary uh, findings. There is no such thing. No? We cannot announce any preliminary findings. If VCO works on these asymptomatic patients... Uh, or those with mild symptoms in uh, in that Laguna setting or in yes. PGH. Hindi pa po natin pwedeng sabihin yon. Yes, opo. Okay. Kasi po but yung is it going to laboratory be, uh, study... Uh, will... Yes. Yung laboratory study na ginawa ay basihan lang para ipagpatuloy yung ating clinical trial na ginagawa. Pero kailangan po natin intayin ang uh, pagtatapos ng clinical trials to analyze the data and see whether it actually works in the clinical cases. Okay. Pero, <clears throat> doctor, yung sa, uh, yung mga uh, critical cases, yung mga na, nasa ICU, uh, binibigyan din ba sila? Uh, meron bang trials para mabigyan sila ng VCO para makita po natin kung uh, nakakatulong sa kanila? Uh -huh. As of now po, hindi po siya kasama sa uh, criteria ng inclusion Dahil talaga po naka, nakatuon tayo sa mga mild to moderate cases po. Uh, maybe, kung maganda po ang resulta nito, maybe we can look at the severe cases. But as of now po, we're just looking at the mild uh, and the uh, moderate cases po. Okay. So kanina po, uh, tinatanong ko sa, sa inyo, Dr. Montoya, na parang adjuvant lang po siya. Can you clarify, you know, de define that for us? Uh, para bang... Uh, it will just help the patient feel better. Ganun po ba? Yeah. Well, when we say adjuvant, ibig sabihin, it's just an add-on. Uh, in other words, the patient cannot rely mm -hmm. on it alone. It has to be in combination with other treatments that the patient should be receiving, uh, including drugs, maybe that will be proven to be useful. So in effect, it actually helps the patient recover. And what we're looking at is 
especially in the clinical trials, is can it shorten the time for the patient to recover? Or for example, does it prevent hospitalization no? or prevent complications? Those are the things that we're actually looking at as endpoints to say that it's probably helping patients with COVID-19. Okay. Well, Dr. Montoya, um, can you just remind us, no? yung VCO naman po kasi has been around for a long time and a lot of people uh, use that. Um, uh, what, what health benefits does it, uh, does it bring for those who use it? Uh, well, you're right. Um, we have already done many studies even in the past, but not on uh, COVID-19 uh, uh, or the COVID-19 virus. Yeah. So we've actually... Uh, done studies uh, in the past looking at its usefulness for, for example, for improving the immune system. And that was the basis for it to be approved as a food supplement by the Food and Drug Administration. But it is not really for a specific disease, which is actually we're doing it now uh, for the first time for a specific disease, which is COVID-19. But we've done already studies in the past including studies also done in other countries, which was the basis for us para tingnan natin talaga kung ito'y makatutulong sa COVID-19. Dr. Jaime Montoya, Executive Director ng Philippine Council for Health Research and Development ng DOST. Maraming salamat po sa inyo, Doctor. Maraming salamat po.